Okay, guys, I've been tagged. I'm going to let y'all in on my dirty little secret. I'm a seed hoarder. Y'all, that's a 30 gallon tote. Yeah, it's bad. Okay guys, out of all these seeds that I have to choose from, I need to pick five. Fortunately, there, I have a couple of things that I want to focus on this year, so it's going to make it pretty easy. I've got some seeds that I got from Papa Pepper. Um, I ordered them because they are a little different than the usual thing. You know, I've been doing the vegetable garden for a few years now, and I've got that down pretty well. And I, I want to branch out into some different areas. Some uh, plants that are wild plants and, and, and different things like that. I want to look more into herbal medicine and that kind of thing. Um, the flowers, the nostriums, those, um, I've planted those a couple of times, but I really want to focus on the flowers, more flowers and edible flowers. So that's something that I'm excited to do this year. Um, the dehydrated toothache plant that's something that I'm really looking forward to the uh, Chinese red noodle beans y'all I love a bean so I, I can't wait to get a hold of those and the the rabbit tobacco now that's a, a natural plant that grows in the wild and uh, so I want to start uh, utilizing plants like that in my permaculture design so I'm really super excited about that and all the different uses that it has so I want to grow some of that uh, so let's see that's one two three four oh the fifth one this one this one I collected these myself I don't know if you guys can see that um, I still have some shake in there I haven't got it all cleaned out and got the tiny little seeds separated but that's lambs quarters I searched all over the property for a lamb's quarter plant because I wanted to collect the seeds last summer. And while I was out and about in the woods and all over the place looking for lamb's quarters, one popped up beside my house underneath the window. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. It was kind of saying, look, here I am. So I collected the seeds from that and um, I still I put, I put still have this on there because I want to make sure they're, they're dried out really well since I... Uh, I haven't separated them yet, but I'm super excited to give those a try, and I was super excited to be tagged in this video. So I want to do a shout out to the folks that tagged me, and I'm going to pass it on down the line a little bit, y'all. So hold on just a second. Let me get my list. Morning, guys. I slept on it, and I've got my list put together. Real quick before I forget. I want to mention the folks that started this tag, the Rot Farms, and I'll drop their link below as well as the link for uh, Bill, the Cajun homesteader. Bill is the one that tagged me in this collaboration, and uh, I was pretty excited about that. I love watching Bill's videos, and I think you guys will too, so his link will be in the description. I hope you'll go over and, and check his channel out. He's got a lot of good stuff going on over there. Uh, my choices, I chose three people to tag. Uh, my first choice is a new friend of mine on YouTube. Uh, they are over in Appalachia. A Homestead Life in Appalachia is their channel. And I love those uh, channels, homesteaders over in Appalachia, because I grew up in Appalachia. So they're very near and dear to my heart. And I love watching their videos. It makes me homesick, but it's really fun to see what's going on over in the area where I grew up and they've got a pretty fun channel so you guys might want to check them out my second choice is Just Living Just Living does a live show every morning and sometimes whenever I am uh, just finished reading or having my coffee I'll pop in there there's a lot of homesteading folks that uh, that visit her live so I've met a lot of wonderful people over there and she just recently did a video on some garden steaks 
that just turned out beautiful and I thought it was a really great idea and a lot of my homestead and gardening friends might be interested in seeing her video on uh, the garden stakes that she did so I tagged her as well so you guys can go check her out the uh, my third choice um, we had to go out of country for this one y'all we went all the way to the UK my third choice is my family garden now they've got a really fun channel and um, just like it's fun to see what people are doing around the country it's fun to see what people are doing around the world because that is one of the great things about YouTube we can see what people are growing all over the world and uh, it's really fun to see what they have going on over there in the UK he's got uh, some really great composting videos and, and different things like that so I enjoy their channel and I thought that you guys might too and I'd be interested to see what he's going to grow in his garden so and and just living as well you know she's got those beautiful garden stakes what's she gonna be planting out there I want to know don't y'all so let's go find out let's tag them and see what they're up to if y'all don't have time to do this tag it's okay we understand it's no pressure no pressure but if you do have time we'd love to hear from you so let's find out everybody five seeds or five plants that you're excited to grow this year and uh Let's get this party started.